Hi friends, I'm here with your phonics lesson today. And our phonics lesson today, we're going to be looking at some patterns in words. And the patterns in these words are gonna match the patterns in your spelling words this week. And the reason that we look for patterns in words and how to divide them is because it helps us know how to read them. When we come to a tricky word or a word we haven't seen before, if we can remember certain rules and patterns, then it can make it easier for us to read those words. So I'm gonna show you my board and we are gonna talk about some words and word patterns. Okay, so let's look at this word. The first thing we want to do is find the vowels. Okay, so we're looking for A, E, I, O, and U. So I have a vowel A, I'm gonna put the letter V under it for vowel, and then I have a vowel I. So I've located my vowels A and I, and I've marked them with Vs. Now in between these vowels, I have two consonants. So I'm gonna label those with a C for consonant. So with this rule, we divide this word in between those two consonants. And so we have divided this word into its syllables. And you'll notice that every syllable has a vowel. So if we have two different vowel sounds in a word, then that word is going to have two syllables. So we can say traffic, okay? So that's two syllables. So when we read this word, it's much easier to read traff and fic than reading the whole word together. So if you're having trouble, you can break that down and we can even code our vowels. We have a vowel followed by a consonant, gets a breathe, vowel followed by a consonant, gets a breathe, and we know that those vowels make their short sounds. Okay, let's do another one. Okay, I've written another word here. Our first step is going to be to locate our vowels. We have U and I, and we're gonna put a little V under them for vowel, and in between we have two consonants. So we have that same pattern, vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel, vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel, or V, C, C, V. And when we have that, we divide in between the two C's, and we have divided our syllables. Now we're gonna look at this vowel and see it's followed by a consonant, so it's a short vowel, followed by a consonant, short vowel, and now we're ready to read, until, okay, until. So we've divided that word well. Let's do one more. Okay, now here's our last word. Now I bet you're thinking, I have never seen that before. And you're right, it's a made up word. But we're gonna practice with a made up word so I can show you that the pattern still works and we can still read it, even though it's something that we haven't seen before. So we're gonna find our vowels, O and I. We're gonna look in between them. We have two consonants. So we're gonna label them with the C's and we're gonna divide those consonants. We're gonna put a dividing line in between the two consonants. We have that same pattern, V, C, C, V. Okay, let's look at our vowels. This one, followed by a consonant, gets a breathe. This one, followed by a consonant, gets a breathe. So we're ready to read, strom, fill, strom, fill. Now that's a made up word, but using this pattern, we can still learn to read it. Okay, it's time to go back to your seesaw lesson and type done. 